Well, hello, everybody. So, huh. still working on my swatch. And, uh, work. Oh my gosh, work. Good. Work is um, getting very stressful. I've got two people besides myself. That's it. So, they want everything under the sun. And so I can't do it. Very stressful. So it looks like I'm going to be looking into a different job. It's closer to home. Instead of an hour, it's only 15 minutes or thereabouts. So big difference. I'm saving 90 minutes a day just in driving. And then in the winter time when it's bad, longer than that. We shall see. I'm hoping to um, have this swatch done. One of the swatches felted, and my uh, learn with me knitting video is up by the weekend. I'm hoping for Whew. All I can do is hope and try. We did um, find to me a home. Or not tippy. Um, Chubkins. Chubkins has a forever home. Uh, he will be leaving this weekend. So I will be doing a goodbye. I'll be doing a goodbye video for him. So he can tell all of his fans goodbye. But he's going to a really, really awesome home. Uh, a friend of Kevin's, uh, who took one of our other kittens about three years ago. She still has him, but she's she fell in love with Chubkins. I don't know why she didn't take him when when she was here, but she's coming back to uh, going to come get him this weekend, I guess. So, we will do a video for Chubkins to tell his fans goodbye. Try and get that done tomorrow. If not tomorrow, definitely the next day. And if I can get a couple of videos with him, I'll do a couple of videos. I don't know why I like to. Do. I just like I just get going and I don't pay attention, and then I start stretching out my stitches. It's like, come on! It's like I've did it before. This isn't this isn't my first rodeo. I promise.
But yeah, yesterday, yesterday at work, oh my gosh. So I get this email from my boss and she says, you know, she needs two ovens to run. And she needs me to work on shower pans. Okay, whatever. That's what you want. That's what we'll do. So we get there and I get everybody going. And I had two emails that I had to take care of. So I told, told my people it's like okay i'm going upstairs to my office which i'm usually never up there. i'm always down on the floor but i'm going up to the office got a couple of emails that i need to do so when i went up there to do my emails i received an email from my boss's boss and he's like um, and he included my boss into his email he was kind of talking to her but was more or less talking to me because he's like um, can we get uh, Russ to route out parts for CNC because they needed trimmed out before they could be put on the CNC. Like, oh my gosh, really? Well, they need 80 parts. Like, wow. And these parts take forever to route out. So, I emailed back. It's like, okay, I will have the 12 parts done for you by morning. They'll be routed out. So CNC can run. And he emails back and includes the engineer. And he tells the engineer that um, don't worry about it. Russ is going to get them. It's like, uh, no. I said I would rough route them out. So I resent an email to everybody. It's like, I will have them rough routed out, ready to go for CNC, but they will not be run. Well, they needed to run because they needed to get them out the door. Like, oh my gosh. So it's like, Laura, I'm not going to be able to do shower pants. So I'm only one person. And the other two that work with me, um, they're good. Don't get me wrong. I take nothing away from them. They're excellent. But they don't know everything that I know. And that. So they can't do a lot of this last minute. Oh, hey, we need you to do this. It's like, okay, every time you need something like that, I have to do it. No one else knows how. And I don't have time to train. So, the engineer come in at 2 a.m., show me how to put them on the CNC and run them. So, I'm still rough routing these parts out because they take forever. So, I go up to uh, my one team member and say, okay, you're going to have to stop. I need your help. These have to ship. So uh, 
I just want to scream. So he's stopped, cleaned up. Come over and started running the CNC while I'm running, rough routing this out. Yeah, if I ever left, it will run. I'm not going to say that, you know, it, it won't run. And I'm not going to say that they're going to have issues and problems because I don't think they will have them. But when it comes to other stuff, my team won't be able to do it until they're shown how. And the other uh, thing was they had sent um, the head maintenance guy, um, the first shift lead guy, and an engineer to Wisconsin because they were running, they made a mold for us. And they were going to show us how to do it because it's the first time that we were doing a tool like this. So it's like, okay, so when we have to do them on third shift, how are we going to be able to? We're not going to be able to run them because we're not going to know how. And that's the other, they could have sent me. So my team knew. So we knew how to do something, but they didn't. So I don't know what they're going to do. But if I get a new job, I just I'm tired of being overlooked. When positions are available, they never ask me. But yet they won't tell me why. Like, you know, tell me why I'm not getting a promotion. Tell me, I'm qualified for that, but tell me why, you know? And maybe it's, maybe I'm not qualified, but at least sit me down and tell me, you know, hey, look, uh, you need to start working on this. Um, this needs to improve, you know, anything, but they will not tell me. And I've already went through everybody under the sun. And I just keep getting told, oh, I'll find out, I'll find out. That's another reason why I want to leave. I just I'm tired of being taken advantage of. And there's no communication. So And not only yesterday did I have all that to worry about, we also had no material cut. So my team, as little as it is, had to cut our material so we could run the product they wanted. And Day Shift has a full crew, but they're always leaving us to do all the work. I'm just tired of it. The house is quiet.
and Russ is tired. I didn't sleep well today. Got to bed, it was afternoon. So I worked all night. So I worked 11 hours. Come home, and I could not sleep. Did not go to bed until after mid. It was like 12.30, and I was up at 5. But on my way home from work, I did stop and get um, me and Kevin um, a to-go um, breakfast. There's this place on the way coming home from work, and I got us each a breakfast burrito. They are huge. I bet you they weigh five pounds. I don't think they weigh that much, but they're they're heavy. They're at least a pound, two pounds. And then me and Kevin went over and picked up the pulled pork uh, that I had bought. So that's done. No, 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 no. Pulled the stitch off. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stay on there. I just want to measure. See what see where we're at. Okay, so we got eight inches that way. And we're almost at four inches that way. It just measures up. Oh, and it does. It's beautifully. There's my swatch so far. Yeah, my tension's not spot on. My little These are um from Addy with the little heart. These are just a straight needle that I picked up at the local yarn shop. And this is the same the same um, skein of yarn. It's Valley Yarns, Northampton, 100% wool. I love this yarn. It's a really good four weight, 100% wool yarn. It's manufactured in Peru. And this, I made a, a shawl out of this and gave it to my aunt a couple years ago. I told them it was hand wash only. Whether or not they listened or not, that's, that's on them. That is on them.
Ooh, I'm hoping we can have a bonfire this week. I'm hoping. We got rain. It rained for like two days. So we should be able to have a bonfire. And it's been really uh, hazy and cloudy and because of the uh, wildfire, the forest fire in Canada, the smoke is drifting down to us here in the States. And I just hope everybody in Canada is okay. It's devastating that we're losing forest. Even, you know, we here in the States have, you know, lost forest due to fires. But the most tragic part of it is when people get hurt or killed. I just love how squishy, how squishy, squishy. Well, I think I'm going to end this video for today. And I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Okay? Bye.